everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to bring you my movie review for Pacific Rim. This film is directed by Guillermo del Toro and it stars Idris Elba, Ron Perlman, Charlie Day. Those are the only actors I know that are in this film. Plus it does star the main dude and the main actress. This film is about when there are monsters that come from the Pacific Ocean. It's attacking the whole city. So there has to be two pilots to control this gigantic ass robots with their minds so they could defeat the creatures, the monsters coming out of the Pacific Ocean. And I'm not going to give you any more details from there. Going into Pacific Rim, I was very excited to see this film. I just wanted a really cool summer popcorn action flick. If you want fight scenes, you will get them. The fight scenes in this film are freaking phenomenal. They were phenomenal. Action sequences, they were mesmerizing, they were visually stunning. I was so mind blown by the action scenes. It was kick ass. It was badass. Oh, every time there was action, every time there was boom, 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 monsters ripping apart. You know, whoo, my my face on the screen, the big beautiful screen, I was like, that was literally my reaction. My mouth was opened with awe and pure adrenaline every time the action was going on. I freaking love the action. Go see Pacific Rim for the action, for the fucking action. It was that awesome. <laughs> Oh, okay. Now that that's over with, let's talk about more things about the film. The storyline to me, it's good. It's a decent, good storyline. I think the acting is good too. I do think the actress is a little bit stiff though. She still acted well, don't get me wrong, but she was a little bit stiff and I thought she could have improved slightly on her acting. And then there were these two scientists. Charlie Day was great in this film. I liked Charlie Day. I don't really watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia that much. But whenever I do watch it, Charlie Day could be kind of enjoyable. He's a little annoying that show, but he could be kind of enjoyable that show. Here, though, I thought he was great. There was this other scientist, though. He's the one that would point out all of Charlie Day's mistakes. And I'm going to be honest... He was one of my problems with Pacific Rim. The scientist in this film, not Charlie Day, the other one, he was annoying, he was cheesy, he was a little bit too cartoony in my opinion, and every time I saw him on the screen, uh, it, he kind of hurt my head after a while, and I just didn't like that scientist. Especially his voice too, he had a very weird voice. Idris Elba was fantastic. He was awesome in this film. Idris Elba did a well done job. And a lot of people seem to have a little bit of a problem with the main actor. I honestly have no problem with him. I like the voice. I actually think the dialogue that comes out of his mouth is well said and well pronounced, well spoken. I have no problem with the main actor. I thought he did a well done job. He acted very well. I was impressed with his acting. Ron Perlman, who everyone knows him as Hellboy, he is in this film. And while his role isn't all that huge, he was badass. I loved Ron Perlman's character. He did a really good job. Really enjoyed his character here. We also get some nice character development. It's mainly focused on Idris Elba and the main actress. And that's what a lot of people say, lacks character development. But think about it, we don't need to have character development on every single person that that works to control robots. We don't need that. As long as we have character development on the main stars, that's all that matters. We got an Idris Elba, we got on the main actress, we got backstories of them, and it was just really cool overall. It's quite impressive, and... It is a little bit sad. And my final problems is that the beginning does get a little bit rushed and 
I gotta say, the Andy did feel a little rushed too. Like, you know, once the whole fighting thing is over, a minute later, the film literally ends. And it just felt like it ended out of nowhere. And it, that kind of felt a bit lazy, in my opinion. I wish we actually got a proper and satisfying ending, not one that's kind of rushed. Pacific Rim really is a fun film. It's decent and good with storylines, character development, acting. It's good on everything, but with action it's freaking perfect it's freaking amazing and it's oh, fucking mind-blowing oh pacific rim is definitely the summer popcorn action flick if you want to see robots versus monsters you're going to get that another brilliant job from guillermo del toro it's a very solid film i highly recommend it Grab your popcorn, take your friends, or take your family. Just sit down, eat that popcorn, drink your fruit punch, and prepare to see some robots kicking monsters from the Pacific Ocean's ass. Oh, I like Pacific Rim. I give this film a solid 3 out of 4 stars. Highly recommend it. Subscribe to my channel. Comment below and give me your opinion of the film. Like and share this video. I hope you enjoyed this, and don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!